What is up everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming, bringing you another Brutal Age video. This is on one of the most iconic partners of all time, the Wolf. Thanks for joining me. Red Wolf, we'll start off with it. It does massive damage according to Brutal Age. So I wanted to remind everyone, there's another partner that says it does massive damage. That's the Red Blonde. I wanted to bring that up because I had a hard time finding value in Wolf for a little while. I started asking around. There are some, a couple of really good players out there that use Wolf. They said that it, it packs a wall up. It's a single target attacker. Um, a couple of the attributes, I think it was green, blue, they don't really get good till third, uh, third Awakening. And it's really hard to really justify Third Awakening them over everyone else. But if you do, you might be a little surprised. So we'll go down Red Wolf. First, if, I don't know if you caught that, it, it restrains. It's got restrain for its uh, Legion skill. Its first skill is called the Claw Attack. And it sounds kind of like the Bear Paw. It attacks with its giant claws. It's got a 50% chance to lower the defense. Second skill is called Group Wolves. This is kind of like the Red Berserker skill. So he will attack the enemy with a teammate. So you'll be able to utilize one of your teammates' strengths. So if you have another big attacker that can uh, that can fight next to the Red Wolf, that would benefit benefit you. Third skill, you get get all three of these at right right when you first get it. You don't have to wait for the Third Awakening for this for this skill. It's called Thirst for Blood. Basically, what that is is if you if the Red Wolf beats the enemy. If his strike is the one that kills it, he gets to go again. And if you look at his attack, once he hits 6 star, his attack's pretty high. And this is basic attack without any bonuses whatsoever. We're looking at 524. We can probably get that around 1000 um, with, with all the bonuses and with all the, with all the attributes from all, all the different uh, war patterns. So we can probably get the left side, the actual basic, up to about a thousand, and you can probably add another thousand to the bonus side. So we're looking at a pretty big attacker. No leader skills, maybe in the fourth awakening. We haven't, <laughs> haven't seen the fourth awakening yet, but maybe the fourth awakening we'll see the leader skills. Everything else is pretty basic on it. Its speed is pretty good though, 108 for just basic speed, and critical rate, critical damage, resistance, all that's really, you know, basic stuff. Next, we have the Blue Wolf. You'll see some similarities with the red, blue, and green throughout all of the different characters, all the different partners. But again, he's an attack partner. He starts with 3 star, goes up to 6 star. He does get a third awakening. Pretty pretty impressive one too. If the, if the Blue Wolf survives, your Shaman troops, they will get a 30 boost, plus 30 boost on their morale. And remember that that's the partner battle before your player versus player troops attack each other. The, the partners will attack each other first, and whatever troops, whatever partners survive, the whatever restraint or bonuses they give, the troops will get. Sorry, got a little distracted. <laughs> okay, first skill. I, I believe they all have the same first skill. I believe they're all the claw attack and the claw attack is attacking one target It does have a 50% chance to reduce the enemy's defense for two rounds So a, as it's as it's this is going to be his most common attack And uh, so his most common attack they could they could get lower the defense every two rounds So if he's switching up on on um, on enemy targets, you're gonna have a bunch of en enemy targets with lower defense and his second skill, same as the same as the red, it's the group wolf fight. That's attack the enemy with a teammate. To get the third skill, you have to get to the third awakening. So the third awakening, third skill is called alert war. And with this, I want to keep in mind. I want everyone to keep in mind that brutal age they labeled the blue wolf as the attack partner with the ability to deal massive damage, same as red blonde. So this this. Uh, this attack could be a huge attack for him. Alert War, he does an attack and then he has Retaliate. So the next person attacks him, he attacks, he attacks back. 
I rated him second overall. I have limited in input on him though, so I haven't really used it myself. I have asked around, I've watched a bunch of uh, replays. But uh, if you have any good replays that you can send to me, I'll have my email, I'll have my line address in the description so you can send them to me. I want to do a follow-up video, see how good the wolf really can be. Blue does have the leader skill, it's speed 23%, so it gives him a little more value. That's right at 3 star too. So that's that would be a good leader for, for your early going, because speed is a really big uh, leader skill. I, I think speed is even more important than attack. Green Wolf, last of the wolves to go through. Label him as an attack partner. He dispels dispels buffs on the enemy. He's also got the leadership skill of speed as well. And if you notice, blue had really high hit points. Green doesn't have nearly the hit points that it does. It doesn't have the attack that red does. If the if the green wolf survives, your warrior troops will get a 30 30 plus 30 bonus on their morale in the partner versus partner fights. And keep in mind, you'll have other bonuses with that as well. You'll also have your dragonkin bonuses if you're using it. Your runes, your talent. First skill is the same as all of them. The claw attack, real basic attack. Couldn't really see this one, so I just kind of threw in another claw attack from uh, one of the other ones <laughs> and as you can see here now remember you're going to you're going to be able to max out their skills this is one of the important things about these three star partners is you're going to be able to max out their skills by the time you get to level 35 they'll probably have max skills so they, they are going to be working at their maximum by the time you get them up to, to level 35 uh, his second skill is bite and that's basically what he does. He attacks the enemy and he dispels any buffs that's on him, which is a, that's a pretty big skill. I, I know it's only one, one verse one, which that's the limitation for the wolf all around that I've seen is that they only attack one. Uh, but they're, they're going to be pretty big attacks once you get them maxed out. Green Wolf's third skill comes at the third awakening. It's called Throat Bite. He, that's attacking an enemy and it deals damage based on a, a certain percentage of his defense. So this is this means we're gonna have to pump up his defense as high as possible to, to get that attack up higher. It also steals hit points from the enemy. So every time it attacks, it takes away a little bit of hit points so they can't heal back to max hit point anymore. Now I wasn't able to actually witness with my own eyes the third skill for for green. So I, I ranked him third. But because I couldn't see his third skill, I didn't see that either one of the third skills for the third awakening. So that could really make a difference in, in the partner once they get to the third awakening. And I know green, you you might even have to build them differently for the third awakening. Uh, or either that or you'll have to have it in plan to, to, to do the third awakening no matter what in order to build them properly. Take a little Patreon break. We got the site Patreon. If, if you join Patreon at any, any level, they have different tiers that you can join. There's different things at all the different tiers. All of them get the premium membership to the upcoming new website made by yours truly. Still working on it. It's called the Brutal Guide or Easy's Partner Guide. It's got everything you can imagine. And I'll never stop making it because they update things like crazy in Brutal Age. So I had to hunt down players to try to watch the wolf. Found four total. Wasn't easy to do. <laughs> But you should ch check the top players in your server. Whenever you're looking at your new hero, check out the top players. See if they have it. See what they what war patterns they put on it. That's one of the first things you should do to, to try to gauge what war patterns you want to use. For Red Wolf, because his attack is so high, 524 as, as a basic attack. We're going to go with Smilodon Hippo. Every single one that I've seen has had Smilodon on it. You want speed on the left hand, or attack on the left hand, right hand, and head. He may be one of the one of those partners that you put attack everywhere. You might want you might have to play with that. You may have to start with speed and see how good his attack is, and then and swap it out with 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 attack later. I don't know. Red Wolf has the highest attack of all the wolves. Make it higher by adding Smilodon War Pattern and using attack all over the War Patterns 
I've seen very high attacks from Red Wolf once he's max level and this is true I've seen 6,000 7,000 damage in adventure so and that was not with anything special uh, they weren't third awakened it was just level 35 <clears throat> and I have seen them in ranked matches if I just don't have the replays of them blue wolf we're gonna build him a little bit differently because he has really high hit points attack defense all kind of mediocre speed is real is pretty good though it's 108 so it's that's that starts off good we we'll use cat which four cat make the war pattern set and that gives you 25% boost in speed and then you use wolf that gives you a 12% increase in critical rate uh, the blue wolf can grow I'm reading this for the subtitles just so everyone knows Blue Wolf can grow to be a powerful partner, uses strengths of both hit point and speed to get more attacks in and take more hits. Be sure to pay attention to the second and third bonuses of the patterns. Keep looking for patterns until you find attack percentage, speed, critical rate, and critical rate damage. These You're going to have to use really good war patterns to get this wolf up there to, up to, spe to speed. And at last, the Green Wolf. Very similar to blue use cat war pattern it gives a 25% speed but at third awakening that third skill that he has is all about defense I would build him from, with defense to begin with his defense is 449 as basic as his basic skill so I'm thinking put defense on the head defense on the right hand speed on the left hand and you'll have speed and defense with a cat and bull green wolf will not end up being built like the other two at first, his strength is speed, but if you manage to stick with him to the third awakening, his third skill is based on defense. Focus on both speed and defense for a fast, tough, debuffing animal. How about that? Now, I know it's sometimes it's hard to get excited about some of the partners that are maybe mediocre compared to others that are a little more exciting, but there is something cool about it. You can, you can be the one to have the best wolf, and it sounds crazy, but. Uh, there is a lot to there is a lot to say about the the player that can make the mediocre partners into excellent partners, and they all have strengths. They all can be excellent. Um, I, I know firsthand that every partner that I've said have sucked has has actually been really good if you know how to build them right. Uh, a good example is I used to think Scarecrow sucked. I used to think Tree Man sucked. Both of them are excellent attackers if you just know how to build them. Now I've already skipped over the first one. This is basically talking about the second through fifth attributes. And for blue, use hit point percentage, speed, critical rate, and critical rate damage, and attack. <clears throat> These are really important in the second through fifth attributes. For red, you want attack all over red. You want to try to get his attack on the left side. There's two, you know, there's his, there's his basic attack and his bonus attack. You want both of them to be over a thousand. If you can get them both well over a thousand, you'll have a, you'll have a beast of an attacker. In fact, I would love for one of you to send me a replay that has that 20 or 30,000 in one strike. That's what I'd like to see. Next video, Blonde Beauty, one of my favorites. Coming up next is the Blonde Beauty and the Berserker. Like that at the end of every single one of our videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm playing the guitar a little bit, so I'm going to keep on adding that at the end. If, you, if it sucks, then just turn it down. And God help you if I find an amplifier. <laughs> So I'm making a next, actually next is ranked matches. I think I have two ranked matches I'm going to play. Got some awesome, uh, got some awesome gameplay from ranked matches. So I'm going to make a couple of those next. But then the next partner guide will be the Red Blonde. So till then, take care everybody. It's been easy. Mm -hmm.